you've woken up in a dark, cold room. Despite the darkness, you are trying to recognize your surroundings, but your efforts are in vain. You don't know where you are. Frightening sounds can be heard all around you. The feeling of helplessness fills your soul. You are too afraid to walk alone in this terrifying place, but you have to. The worst part of this is, there's someone who's always keeping an eye on you. And this person finds watching you very entertaining. Welcome to Don't Be Afraid. I'm gonna apologize now just in case I scream and make anybody's ears bleed. I'll do my best to adjust the audio. <laughs> Oh, I don't quite know what to make of this. Glowing eyes are a nice touch. I appreciate that. So, in this game, we're going to be playing as a little boy who goes by the name of David. It's a, a unique perspective to have, especially as a horror game. And as an important note, it's been highlighted in the game's description that it's important for us to remember the fate of a victim is sealed. Once it is in the hands of a sadistic psychopath. If you want to survive, grow up quickly. Uh, <laughs> Alright, this is going to be an interesting game to play. We've been kidnapped by a child killer and uh, we've been placed in a house filled with puzzles. So we're going to have to do our best to break the system, escape, and end the nightmare. There is three endings, so let's hope that I'm able to get a good one. And, uh, hopefully, we'll be able to save little David and get him out in one piece. So, without further ado, thank you for joining me. Let's begin. Hi, David. I'm a friend of your father. You can call me Mr. Franklin, okay? <laughs> Why are you naked, Franklin? Now, I know you may feel a little strange. Yeah. But it's only because I gave you a particularly strong medicine. Well, if you put it like that, I guess I have nothing to worry about. Don't you worry about it. We're mm -hmm. just going to play a little game I prepared for you. Is it checkers? Or hide and seek? The kids would really like to see you, you know. Oh. Uh, I think you have things to attend to. Good sign. <laughs> oh, dear. I have to check on one more thing, so I can focus only on you during our little fun. Alright, Frankie. Okay. Now sleep. And remember, don't be afraid. Alright, <laughs> 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 oh, okie dokie. What a beginning. I'll be as cool as a cucumber. I'll be so calm and stoic. It'll be truly outstanding. Oh. L2 to run. Okay, how fast are we? I'm like a whippet. Oh, oh Jesus. I can't believe you alone. Say hello to your new friend. No. <laughs> She'll keep you company. <laughs> I'm scared to not look at her in case she moves. Are you alive? I feel like they're gonna swing at me. I just want to get a closer look at your face. Oh, I promise, just the face. I'll, I'll just keep that there. Just what is that? Oh, were you alive once? Ah, uh, okay. Uh huh. Anything I can steal? I'm already up to tricky business. This is a lot of blood. Have we been beaten? Oh, David. You poor, poor child. A note. The patient stopped making any sounds. After the face was cut open, I had to remove the orbits completely so that I could enlarge the mouth opening and sew in additional teeth. Aha! That's our friend then. How did you pose her like- you know what? I don't think I want to get into the details of that. I'm sure there's very terrible things. Let me see. Damn it, not even a weapon. <laughs> Obviously not. Um, I'm expecting. Can I take more than one? No, just one. Let me out. Closed. Uh, do you have a key? 
What's this? Can I move the chair? No. What if I set you ablaze? You have a lock. Is it in your mouth? Can I take the knife? I feel like she's... I know she's dead, but... No, I don't trust it. Anything here? Medkit? I could use that. That doesn't open either. Puzzles, puzzles, puzzles. Now, is there a brick in the wall or something? I kind of thought that maybe I'd be able to move the chair and reach some things. Can I climb? No. It's gotta be something. Oh, a handprint. Please don't move. Oh, a secret little... little passageway. You stay there. I feel like I should name you Betty. Here you go. Stay there, Betty. This light isn't doing much of anything. It's gonna put my candle out, right? Please don't. Uh, I mean, yeah. What did I expect? This is the key ring. It will help you carry all the keys I oh. hidden. <laughs> I got scared by the water. I don't want to talk about it. Thank you for the key ring. Oh, back into the darkness. I don't trust you. You won't move? I'm just gonna grab another one of these. Now, do I undo her first or get out of here? How about we do both? We'll open that. Oh, let the fun begin. And then maybe I can undo that? No? Okay. I'm sorry, I, I, can't, I can't help you. I think you're dead anyway, so... Ugh. Oh, even the frickin' achievements got me spooked. Ah, uh, I see your lettuce. I, I can't do anything with it, so I can't even snoop. And get some hot tea <laughs> on this Frankie guy. Oh, a lot of bloody drags. I see you're very, um, interested in this hobby you have of... Cutting people open. Isn't that nice? Oh. We have four here. I guess one, two, three, four? Just a guess. Damn it. Ooh. Oh, I thought I could take these. Red and green. Oh, if I get chased, I'm gonna die. Not literally, but inside. I will be no longer living. I'll be a shell of my own. <laughs> Don't. I. Okay. I. No. What, what was that about? I was so terrified and cautious that I missed the jump scare visual entirely. This was it. It was a pair of freaking eyes watching me. Ugh. I, I really thought that. Oh, Betty back there was gonna be just running full speed at me. But no, not the case. Okay. That's gonna put out my candle. So we'll just have a look in here. I like the little bloody handprint touch. Another yes. key. <laughs> yes. Very cool. Oh. Two equals a red little circle. Huh. I'll remember this. At least try to. I'm not seeing anything else. Two red circle. Hmm. Oh! There's more company. You guys are just, uh, mannequins, though. I don't think this is a supernatural game. Just a psychopathic, sadistic, child killing game. So, I, you know, on that front, I, I think I'll be safe. <laughs> That is not correct. Let's go back here, Anna. Ah, so two must be red. I think that's what that means. Two red circle, and then we have to find out what these ones are. I want these pencils. Now, was there anything else written anywhere that I might have missed? Seeing as I wasn't really focused on that yet. 
Oh, I want to close this. I don't like that it's open. I know she's chained up and all. But something about it just doesn't sit right with me. I have this at way too high of a volume. So every sound is gonna make me jump. More mannequins. Oh, I don't even want to know what went on there. Oh, the horrors that must have happened here. Ugh. Okay, David. We're gonna be okay. This is some other cell, but some poor child has probably been in it. I don't think I want to turn that. Not yet, at least. One is green. Good. We're getting places. I don't have anything to carry it in. Maybe there's a backpack or something I can steal. <laughs> Should I just say screw it and do it? We'll do it. I don't know if I should be doing this. That's a clever boy. Thank you, Franklin. <laughs> I think. I don't know. At least he's finding us entertaining. As long as he doesn't just come in here. I'll be fine. Just keep his distance. I'd rather him stay very far away. Our hand is very shiny. I just noticed that. After successfully enlarging the mouth and sewing in the teeth, the patient started to choke, his vocal cords still functioning. Often at work, I hear his growls. These are not sounds that a person should make. Really? So, it's, it's, uh, he? Maybe it's not even talking about Betty back there. Maybe it's something entirely different. Let's go and adjust this then. One is green. We just need three and four. A backpack would be great now. I, I almost got spooked again. <laughs> I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that maybe each room will have... Oh. No. Oh, I was gonna say that each room has a number in it. Do I have to go this way? Oh no. Okay, I'm just gonna check the walls quickly for anything. Numbers. Please. More mannequins, I think. Anything. Oh, I'm gonna have to go further in. As soon as I read that note, and then into the dock. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm doing. Oh! Can I- can I take this? Please? It's a nice helmet you have there. It's like a fish or something. Oh! Oh, that's- that's many, many bodies. No. Oh. Franklin, you're really a piece of work, you know that. Oh, yeah, what's that? Oh, it's just a little toy. A little ball. You guys are just for decoration. Yeah? Alright, uh, yeah. That's what, that's what we're gonna hope for. Please, nothing chase me. Please. Okay. Mannequin's arms go up, and then... What does that mean? Can I interact with you guys? Can I... Move anything? The dead thing is whispering. Oh, good. I don't even want to run. This is quite the basement. Oh. How many victims have you had down here, Frankie? How many? One handle goes down is red. Yeah, I think that I already know that. I think I understand that. You, I can move your arms, right? Can I? Surely. Is there a handle somewhere? Another note. Franklin, I bought you this book, as you asked. I left it in the teacher's room. Can we meet? I need to speak with you. Yours, Theodore. Oh, Theodore to Franklin. What about Blah? Ooh. Damn it. 
I still need something to carry things. I think I have to, uh, move your guys' arms, but... Oh, I can press a button. Okay, one at a time, maybe. You don't move. Ah, you guys are locked in together. There we go. Now you can go up. Um, the thing back there, I'm sure has changed. Oh look, we can go inside now. It's kind of satisfying. If you ignore the death and the group mannequins. We're so small. Oh, you are there. Oh, why you do that? That wasn't nice. Stop blowing. I get it. Number two. Two is red. Locked. I can't see anything. I'm gonna have to go back. Uh, I need a candle. Oh, it's really dark without a candle. Oh, this sucks. Give me that. Yoink. Why do you have to blow it out? If I go behind, I think we're fine. Okay. That's good. There's a nice fleshy wall. Oh. Oh. How, what? What? <sighs> sure. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, two, two, two. I see three twos. Maybe that's the code for something. Alright. Gents. What are you doing in here? <laughs> Damn it, Frank. One goes down. Can I move you down? Please let go. No. Please. I need to adjust you, but I can't. Two I don't know. There was just a bunch of twos. Can't move any of them. It's fine. What about in here? Ah, <sighs> floor is green. Okay, good, 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 good. Three is the only one left. A necklace <laughs> and a key. What a clever boy. Oh, thank you. I think I I don't know why I'm thanking you. You put me in a freaking basement, but here we are, I suppose. I guess can't be choosers. Uh, uh, uh. Huh? Not so fast. First, you have to free her. I don't want to free Betty. I don't want to. Maybe behind Betty is the final number, and I'll know. Oh, the light is flickering. Were you there before, standing like that? I don't know if you were. I'm not sure. Can I really not take that helmet? No. Excuse me, everybody. I I just need to go and um press a button real quick. It's so freaking dark. Oh, hopefully you guys can see something. I might have to adjust the brightness just a little bit. I have a terrible feeling. That, Betty, will come and slice me and chew on my flesh. What was that? Just a piece of fabric? You're really freaking clever. It was green, right? I don't know what this is. Oh, what if I... Ah! Ah! This baby. Baby doll. Mama. Oh. Colorful. How you doing? Please don't blow up my candle. And a jack in the box. Can I close this door? No. What am I looking at here? What is this? Try me. What does that say? Fancy guitar boy? Am I a fancy guitar boy? Probably not. Maybe he pulled this straight out of the box. Maybe. We're a toy. Maybe that's why her hand is so shiny. We're not even human. I don't know. <laughs> Strange game theories. Lots of other toys. You know, my hand looks a lot like your guys' hands. Do you know? Just, just an idea. That's what I'm thinking as all. What's the point of me being in here? Ooh, colored pencils and a tape. Ah, oh, to come back for that. 
I really have to go in free Betty, don't I? Hmm. Ah, uh, Betty. You, Betty. Hate Franklin as much as I do. And you and I. You and I can be friends. You don't have to. Attack me, okay? You don't have to do anything. Mmm. Magic walls. Maybe I can I. Oh, put the mask on Betty. You know, maybe then she can't nibble at me. Maybe. But I gotta let her out first. Oh, please don't attack me. Run. Wonderful day. I'm leaving. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I freaking knew it. I'm scared to death. I'm frightened, and I don't know what to do. I'm confused, and I want to go home. Oh, no, God. She's out and about this way. I think, oh, it's so much darkness. I just wanted to get out there as soon as possible. Stop whispering. Please, stop whispering. Down here. Please. Oh, you son of a... You turn directions. Oh. What the hell? Oh, Betty, Betty, Betty. Uh, okay, okay. Cheeky, cheeky little sneaky thing. No, you don't. No, you freaking don't. It's done it up in it. Okay. Can I have it now, please? Great! Amazing! But now I'm not alone down here. Not that I really was alone before, but... I need that mask. Maybe then she'll be fine with me if I put the mask on her. Ah, this goes down. Right. Two. I don't know what two goes. But I can't move it anyway. Still mannequin in the way. Can I hide behind you if she comes? I don't even know if she's chasing us. But, you know. Why else would we let her out? Oh, hell no! I don't want to go. I don't want to do this to anyone. <laughs> I don't want to be in this basement. Betty? Please? I know you're just a victim. Scissors? Wait a minute. I... I don't have scissors. I need scissors. Where can I find such a thing? I can take this stuff now, though. Fake blood. Why would I need that? Hmm. I don't want to stumble upon her. I really don't. Oh, wait. This was locked before. Oh. Oh! You're alive! Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh. Can I help you out? Can I? Um, nothing I can do really, I guess. I can't equip it. Oh, three. Yeah, thank you, but I already know that. <laughs> Appreciate it, though. Appreciate it. I've already forgotten what was in that room. What was in that room again? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, wait, the mask, right? For Betty. Yoink. Oh. I'm breaking stuff. Excellent! Oh! I didn't even notice you. Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. You've been dead quite a while. Hey all, Scott here, and this is bad. Real bad. Is there really nothing that I can benefit from? Kinda thought it might lead me somewhere. Hmm. It appears no, there is something. I just missed it. Oh look, a golden fish. Maybe the mannequin with the mask? Let's see here. Franklin, we are still waiting for your reply. Mom is sick. She got worse. Please reply. If you want to, you can also call her. I left you once my number. If you still care about anything, let me know. Mom and I love you. Love Ella. So he has a sister. I, I do presume that's who that is. She said mom. 
golden fish. Ah, I know the mannequin. I know what it's telling me. I know. I know exactly what to do here. I just don't want Betty to be out and about. She should be down here. When I say she, I mean the lady with the fish head. You. Can I give you this instead? Denied. No? Oh. They have something. David, let's take a little break, shall we? <laughs> I have to confess something. You're not the first child playing at my playground. I'm not even slightly That's surprised. Why I want you to know how much fun I had with the other children. <laughs> we'll go back to our fun only when you listen to this tape. Now, stand still and listen to this tape. Okay. Only then we'll go back to our fun. <laughs> I think I got you the first time. Oh my. Okay, I'm just gonna take the tape. And take that. <laughs> what do we have here? Aren't you a little too old for me? Oh. Fuck you! Hell yeah. <laughs> Mm. I wonder if you'd be so lippy when I remove your tongue. Theodore, just take him. I don't have the strength to destroy such a beautiful face. Franklin has help. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> You're in the line just behind Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like the freaking Joker. That laugh. Ah, oh. wait. You have a mask. Not the one I wanted. I just can't take it. Can I take this now? No. So who was it that wanted the golden fish? You guys do move. There was a whole line here before. Oh, so many bodies. Let's go and look at that on the floor one more time. Okay, fish with the mannequin with the no head. And I really thought it was her with the golden fish. If I steal your head, no, I can't steal your head. What if I grab the mask and put it on you? Then I get this mask. <sighs> Maybe. Maybe the mask's not for Betty after all. Oh, we're getting closer to where she resides. <sighs> I don't know how to deal with her. Hey guys, want a fish? No. I don't know where she's lurking. I can't even hide, so... I guess if she has me, then I... I die. I need to go in that room. <gasps> Is that her? That's her. I think she moves. When I don't look at her. Damn. Damn, uh, boy. Duh, okay. We're just gonna stay looking in that direction. Oh, I'm scared. I don't think we're going to make it out of here alive. Let's listen. Shit. I hope this piece of junk works. Huh? It's Andy. The psycho guy. Franklin trapped me here. He gives me food and made me a place to sleep, but it's pure madness. Recently, I heard a cry. It's probably another kid. You... If you listen to this, great job. You found the clues I left for you. 
From now on, I'll guide you. Franklin's watching every move we make. That's why I've hidden the tapes in places that the cameras don't reach. Ah. Every night, I wait till the steps get silent and then sneak out through the vents. I have to find a way out, but this house is a freaking maze. It's so fucked up. Wish me luck. Andy, you're my guardian angel. Andy, I hope you're alive. We got out. You're somewhere. Gosh, I hope so. I know Betty is back there. I need to go away. Any, um, I'm glad she's not chasing me. So that that's something. I can take this now. Psychopath mask. And I think I have to go and place it on the fish lady. The golden fish mask. I don't even want to run. She's still there? Oh yeah, she's still there. Are you gonna chase me? Please don't. Please don't. Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Can I give this to you? No. What if I put the mask on her? Betty? I. Oh, maybe. I can make you look real nice. Can I give you a mask? No. Unfortunately, I was wrong. My ideas had been shot down. But there was still a headless mannequin to find, and a golden fish to place. Oh, you don't have a head. Hell yeah. Perfect. <laughs> oh, You're getting closer and closer. Thank you. Closer and closer. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, what what I do now? She's still there. Hi. 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 Hello. Oh, God. I don't know if she's what she is. Oh, I'm walking into mannequins. You know, I think this is a great example of truly psyching yourself out. Did the doll move? No. However, I was anticipating it every moment. And sometimes the anticipation of something is the scariest thing of all. I don't want to go back out there. Not yet, at least. Maybe now I can I. Uh, Interact with that Levi. Aha! Move it now. It's open. Glorious. Progress. And another key. What is it for? <laughs> yes. <gasps> oh. yes! You've done it! Hi. That's a good boy. Why is he rooting for me? Why are you playing the piano like that? Stop it! <sighs> Read this freaking note. Mannequins, help me relax. They are people who cannot speak, but tell interesting stories. If they are arranged well. You know that I'm not good at social contacts, so please, get away from me and let me feel normal. Okay, Franklin. So you just watch us while we're in the basement? Oh, you're blocking my way, I see. Should I take a seat? Huh. Oh, and now you let me pass? Huh. Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. What's the key for? That's what I want to know. Oh. You've moved. I wish I could see you a little bit better, but I'll be with you in just a moment. What are you doing? Trying to play? Game. What's that about? Is there something in here now? Something more, perhaps? Maybe? Maybe something more? You weren't there before. Huh. Very interesting. Very. You're still the same. You're still dead. Hey! <laughs> Don't mind me. Scoobity doobity dee. Ah. No. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, crackling. What 
is that? Who is that? Oh, what are you guys doing? Um, you're stopping me. Why? You guys have the bull symbol. What that guy go? You know, they're just maneuvering around the place. Where'd he go? Well, I won't be going that way then. I'll go back this way then. Don't you dare. Don't you freaking dare. Look at me, I'm running with an open flame. You. <laughs> I right, don't cry about it, she's a bull. You'll be fine. Okay. Get ready to be jump scared by some mannequins moving places. I have a ball. Here you go. That's that's lovely. Thank you. You gonna block me? Okay. Uh, can I give me the damn fish head? I don't know why I want it, but I do. Give it to me. Uh, I know you. You blow out my candles. We're gonna avoid. Oh, it's completely switched up. Alright, which one of you has blowing power? You have blowing power. Do you? That one blows. This is a weird thing to say. You good? Uh, do you? You have blowing power. Do you? Haha! God, stop me. Interesting. What is interesting? Oh, she's there. Maybe I can let you out. There you go. Oh, she's fine. She coming with? Oh no, she's locked back there. Oh, I'm sorry. I must go on without you, Betty. I'm so sorry. I have to leave you behind. Please, don't say another word. My heart can't take it. I am terrified by you, but I value all the same. I'll come back for you, Betty. For now. Farewell.